Good morning, Raiders. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Raiders. It's Brayden. It's another great day to be a South Sumter Raider. The, Sumter, the South Sumter Athletic Booster Club will be giving away an official Florida Gators signed football helmet during halftime of our last home football game, Friday, November 6th, against PK Young. You can purchase booster tickets for $1 each, two or two for three tickets, or an arm's length for $10. The helmet will be on display in the cafeteria up through the first quarter of the PK Young game. See Coach Allison for details. Seniors, don't forget to follow the Project Graduation Facebook account to be informed on an up on up and coming senior events and meetings. Also, be sure to complete the senior yearbook info by October 30th. That is linked on the media page. Baby pictures are also due on October 30th. See Mrs. Burns if you have any questions. Attention all National Honor Society students. Tomorrow there will be a meeting during Raider time in the Raider room. Please check in with your Raider time teacher before heading over to the meeting. We will be discussing dues, officer election, and the up and coming induction ceremony. It's just been informed that that's actually today. Thank you to our head writer. Thank you, Avery. <laughs> this week is Red Ribbon Week. Tomorrow is Neon Day. We are too bright for drugs. Any student who dresses up for Red Ribbon Week can see their counselor to be entered in the positive referral drawing. Ninth graders can see Mrs. Miller. The Sorry, this Friday is the pink game. <laughs> The Raiders will be traveling to Stark. Wear as much pink as you can to su help support breast cancer awareness. Hostess selling pink face masks for $1 each. Please see Mrs. Leiden or a Hostess member to get yours today. The golf team is selling snacks, so see the golf team for some snacks. Any day youth member who needs a day youth shirt, please email Mrs. Cloud. And a belated shout out goes out to Maritza Hernandez for making the Varsity Girls soccer team. Mr. Sager left her name off list and he feels really bad because she's his favorite and hopes the shout out will make up for the error. Good job Maritza. Credit recovery is available Monday through Thursday in Mrs. in Miss Fessel's lab with Miss Wells. It's right after school until 5 30 p.m. Don't wait until it's the last minute to change your grade or get that credit you need. Also a reminder there's only 58 days till Christmas because no one cares about Halloween so we're just gonna act like it's not happening. That's all the announcements. <laughs> Ow. That's all the announcements for today, Raiders. Make sure to check out our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube at SSHSRTV. Remember, Raiders are responsible, respectful, prepared, and on time. I'm Brayden Moore, and thanks for watching RTV. Hey guys, I'm Kendall. And I'm Reagan. And we're going to be talking about jeweling and the dangers of it. Jeweling is a form of e-cigarettes. In a recent study done by the CDC, 99% of e-cigarettes sold in assessed venues in the United States contains nicotine. Two out of three Juul users don't know that Jeweling contains nicotine. One Juul pod contains 20 cigarettes worth of nicotine, which is one pack of cigarettes. Jeweling uses nicotine salt, which allows for high levels of nicotine to be inhaled more easily and with less irritation than free based nicotine. There are many dangers that come with Jeweling. Defective e-cigarette batteries have caused some fires and explosions. Nationwide, 50% of calls to poison control centers for e-cigarettes are for kids five years of age or younger. They are poisoned by swallowing, breathing, or absorbing e-cigarette liquid through their skin or eyes. And finally, Jolene has cancer-causing chemicals. So don't do it. It's bad for you. Yeah, it's bad.